Hello, brothers, sisters, and patriots. Man, it is a beautiful day on this early morning, about 6.30 a.m. One thing, when you start getting these, when I start getting messages from the universal God, he wakes, man, I get woken up 4.30 a.m., 5 a.m. without fatigue. But, uh... This message today once again comes from the universal God. Listen to this message in your spirit, not of the flesh. And also, if you're new to me, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Every time you do a like button, then you also get what you put out, you get back. Man, today is so beautiful with the energies. Today's topic, the system is on fire. Knowledge, age of Aquarius, new world. Let me put this at the beginning. This message is not of fear. It's for awareness. As the light is shining on the, even though we're in the new world, the old system is still collapsing. But all you have to do is walk within the new world and leave the old world behind. But I got to bring some things to light. So I'm going to read for you today a couple uh, chapters. Bear with me for a moment. All right. Psalms 118. Eight through nine. Psalms one eighteen, eight through nine. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord. And not trusting in princess. So once again, trusting in man leads you to failure. Uh, second verse I want to read for you is Matthew 15, 14. Let them alone. They are blind guides. And if the blind lead the blind... Both will fall into the pit. So trusting man can lead you also to your downfall along with him. Whose fault is it yours? Take ownership of your life. I am out the system. I am like the lone wolf. I got entirely out the system. So I'm going to put exposure to these things, uh, which is on fire right now because they're getting exposed. Light is getting shined because we was taught to do them. But they don't do anything for you when you really think about it. You are God. Everything you needed was within yourself. The kingdom is within you. So, man, I had to write these things down. Celebrities and sports athletes being paid off to lead you astray. That's being shined light on right now. They got these sicknesses and they use the sports athletes, the celebrity people you think, I don't know why you look up to them. They do nothing for you, but take your money. For the love of money is evil. So if you do things to harm others for the love, that's what that means. Money is okay to have, but when you're doing it for evil purposes. So that's one thing in the system right now being exposed. Religions. Jesus had no religion, and you say you follow Jesus, and also where are your religions at? They're not exposing the corruption, and they're not talking about the book of Revelations. You, you in the new world. Uh, just yesterday, AMC, someone hired a lawyer, you can look this up, and they're suing hedge funds against manipulation. That's That just happened yesterday. 
Another one is, uh, let's see. Don't worry about the world speaking truth. So a lot of people say they have God, but they're not bold for God and they're not speaking the truth. They're holding it in because they want to be liked. When you go towards God, you get the crucifixion, you get the crucifixion moment like I'm going through now. The more truth I spread, people don't put no likes, no follows, no nothing. When I spread garbage, people follow. Jesus himself, remember he died and he was truthful. Martin Luther King, John F. Kennedy, the president, first he was corrupt, then he changed his ways and they killed him to try to use him to scare you. Uh, another one, all your sicknesses himself, because mother nature is perfect. God made a perfect world. So what man does, he creates, he creates these these uh, sicknesses himself gets you to take artificial things within yourself that has the poison in it and he pays and they actually pay an actor to play it off in the beginning to fool you because all I, you could get millions and millions of people watching the television I'm going to put a name out there remember the AIDS virus Dr. Fauci again Every time pandemic, he's around. He's right there in front of you. So, <laughs> and Bill Gates. So, they trick you to get you to take their poisons. Which led, remember the Georgia Guidestones are still there. They want to reduce the, because Satan has to put what he wants to do behind everything. So Georgia Guidestones, they've been wanting to reduce the, uh, the human race. I don't want to use human. They want to reduce the mankind race to 500 million. Right now we're 7 billion, 800 million. But Georgia Guidestones is still up in Atlanta. You can research it. They put the answer there for you. Because you keep thinking these men are your friend. Uh, government. You keep thinking the government you see is that no, they have a secret society and they have a sh uh, shadow government that is the real government that runs our government. And the government now are foreigners. That's why they put the fence up. But when you're caught in the city, oh, it's just how many presidencies have you seen a fence up? That's because they're foreign. And they made that into a prison. Use your mind. That wasn't to keep us out. Nobody, no idiot going to run over there with military forces. No idiot going to run against the military force. Come on, man. That was for them. They've been captured. But you keep watching it. I hope they do a Scooby-Doo moment. Remember at the end of Scooby-Doo, you see a regular man, they look like a regular character. At the end, they pull the mask up. And they got you wearing a mask. But the mask is them. They're showing you. That's why the mask. <laughs> because they're masked. They look like someone, but there's someone else underneath the mask. I had to write these things down. Gold and silver, the manipulation. CNBC mocked us. They act like they didn't know gold and silver is the is the is the is the is the real money. And they they took a physical silver coin like they hadn't seen it before. Playing what you're dumb, thinking you're dumb. Oh, look at the silver coin. Look at this. Oh, it's an ounce. Look, feel it. You can watch it, man. Watch these things. CNBC, they just did it. Because you keep thinking they're your friend. 
when this system goes down and the real physical gold silver goes up and you, and because you were so caught in a system and didn't buy any you keep walking with fools and you're gonna suffer harm schools being exposed your parents could have just taught you school because the school is life their schools get you more indoctrinated into this system of mind control. Then they tell you all false history. They keep saying that the people of my shade and color came over here on boats to Africa. I'm gonna ask you a question. I got two, I got two cousins that had an interracial where their parents was in the interracial. They are very light. African, well, people of my skin color were already here on earth and we split it up. We were already here. It's called indigenous. Sure, there was Indians here. We were already here. Because who gave you the history? You read their books. You were not here in 1863. How do you know what happened? You read their books. I'm giving you common knowledge to take within yourself and really think. When they give you something, they give you partial truth. And they invert truth. Thanksgiving was the killing of the Indians. So all his, remember I did a, I did a video on that, all history is a lie. Their, their thing of fear is failing, but you, even your truth movement, I just, just this morning, I saw a guy doing silver coin, but he still got fear in there. He say he's knows God, but he's still of the world because he, he's given you, he, he's, he never says don't fear. He got you fearing this illusion. Because what you think you attract, you are God, you have a law of attraction. And if God feeds the birds, he's going to feed you. You will know what to do. You just keep doing your prayer, your meditation. Speak to your higher self, your angels, your spirits. Each day they will let you get by. Each day I do an intermittent fasting because the breakfast itself is a lie. So you don't need as much food as you think you need because you are spirit, not flesh. What that does, that cleans you. When you do an intermittent fast, I don't eat till 12. That gives your body time to clean your toxins. You naturally have a natural energy. You start to become a light being because that's what we're going to with the next dimension of the new world. You're getting a new body. Take control of your flesh and use your spirit over your flesh. You can do it if you stay within your spirit. Thing with relationships too. I'm not a relationship expert, but one thing people are scared of is themselves because if you can't stand to be around yourself, what partner are you going to attract? What you are on the inside, you attract outside. If you can enjoy yourself, think about the partner you're going to attract. Just things to think about, but you keep running to man. Because a lot of men were taught of the world relationships. You are nature. Sperm and eggs. And as you go on your journey, your mission, you'll meet someone. Just go on your purpose and your mission. And during that, you'll meet somebody. But you don't need anybody but yourself. All things within yourself. You're stronger than you think if you start within yourself. That's why the lockdown. So God can let us uh, get to know ourselves that we were running from ourselves the whole time. Gotta bear with me. Let's see. The television.
still being exposed with media, television, tell a live, put the word right in front of you. But seeing is believing for some. We learn through pain. The system is on fire. Right now, the uh, transferring of the generational wealth is going on. You keep hearing Jacera, Nasera, you, you're waiting, you're wait. you are God. <laughs> if something comes, I'm open, but I'm already working on my, I'm already working on my wealth. I'm not financial advisor, I'm going to give you a stock tip. And you don't even have to be an expert, this is just common sense. Let's take Apple for instance. I'm not telling you to invest in it. I just use it for illustration. You can do Amazon, Apple, whatever. Whatever you believe in. But anyway, you put your money in when it's down. You don't buy when the stock's up. Like most, most fools do that. They see it running. No, you buy it when it's down. So you say, hey, this looks like a good company. You buy it when it's down cheap. When it's down. So... Don't put in, if you have $500, don't put in the full $500. Put in about $250. This is just advice. So don't put in the full amount. Put in $250. Because remember, stocks go up, they come down. So that way you're not putting in your full amount and you have something to play with. And sometimes you see other opportunities. Don't put all your eggs, what is it, in one, one, whatever. Don't put it all in. You have 500. I'm using 500 for example. So put 250 in into that company because you know it's a good company and it's going to grow. Its value with Apple is about a trillion dollars, so they're making money. So when it's going up, you relax. When it starts to go down, you try to wait to, to you never can predict the market or know the exact, but when you see it almost down, down, and you see it enough, put maybe $50 in, because you got 500. Put another 50 in. As it go down, because you got the 50 in, it'll start to go back up. That's long-term wealth. Just an idea for you. Also, just uh, I just saw yesterday, Dogecoin, Dogecoin, I just invested is about 18 cents now. So they taught you, to, they taught you 2020 vision. Is that right? I got a new saying for you. 2030 vision. <laughs> so if you put in fifty dollars at Dogecoin right now, and you wait until the year 2030, because remember they, what they do in front of you, they they collapse this stuff cheap, so they buy it up. Meanwhile, they program you. They uh, you they take away your attention on the television or lies, like most. But behind the scenes, they're steadily putting their money in. This is just advice. I'm not telling you to do anything. But if you waited till remember, it, they taught you 2020 vision when you were a kid. No, you need a 2030 vision because <laughs> they use these words against you. What you say you attract. So if you waited 10 years and didn't touch that money, what would it be? Just an idea. Because they got NBA play. They got a lot of stuff going on. Gold and silver physical. They got everything is down right now. Ah, the banking system being exposed. Look up the word bail in. What is that? They can take your money. I show relatives this. And with inflation, they're, they're, you're not making nothing. They are, your money is decreasing. Physical gold, silver is generational wealth. Another idea, if you, get a, if you have a million dollars and they have what's called dividends on stocks, 
Let's take 4%. You find a dividend at 4%. What is that every year, just off the dividend? Might be about, I don't have to calculate it, it might be about $40,000. That's what these people in front of you do. If you take a billion dollars, $100 billion times the four, that's how they've been staying around so long. If you take $100 billion times that 4%, what is that per year? $1 billion. So this is just a million dollars, just an idea, because they don't work or they, they invest. They get, you, they get you the mule to do all the work and they don't work, they just invest. And the more jobs they know the economy raises, but them being the fools, they don't know what they want. Instead of working with us where, because it's abundance, they work against us. But the system's on fire, it's all being exposed. I'm not telling you get the popcorn and just watch. You need to work on your high frequency energy and stay, that, stay in that and manifest. Stop holding your tongue when you see things that doesn't resonate with you. Always send the love and light, but you must speak up. Because the question is going to be asked. There's... there's uh, Beings, there's human, there's souls, there's, there's children, there's people not here right now that will be in the future. And they're going to ask you the question. Granddaddy, great, great granddaddy, because you're going to be thousands of years, you're going to live thousands and thousands of years old. Because we're gaining power. But anyway, you're going to say, what did you do? When all that was going on, and what would your story be? Did you sit by solid, knowing knowledge and information in the greatest time that you chose to be here? Or did you participate in the fight one way or another? I'm participating, I'm, I'm regardless of views or not, I'm sending out the light. Cause when I send out something on YouTube, Maybe I pass away. The information I gave out is still there. But what did you do? Not me. Ask yourself that. What did you do during this time that the system was on fire? Did you help rescue souls out the fire? Or did you sit by the wayside and do nothing? That's what's going on now. And the universal God, he doesn't, you're doing it to yourself. You judge yourself. Because the amount of money that you have in the new world depends on what you do now. If you're not helping mankind, I don't know how you're going to survive in the new world. The new world is all about helping your brother and sister. It's love. The new world is only love. The system is on fire. I'm giving you knowledge so you can spread this knowledge to others. It's nothing to fear. Because you're in, God already wrote this story and you're just a character in it. But what character do you want to be? You could choose any character. You can always change your character even right now. Loving God even gave Satan. Remember, uh, the big battle was Satan. He was thrown in the uh, hells, right? God even gave Satan the reason why he gave he even gave Satan another chance to see if he would change, which was an angel, which is what we in now. So we were released in that, but unfortunately. Not God's choice. Satan himself already showed that he could not change per his soul. And he's already cast away. All that's been delivered. All the entities hit, it's all been delivered. 
You save yourself. I saw a truth movement show yesterday where someone was still waiting on certain leaders. Talking about, well, I'll sit here and wait. I'll sit here and wait on them whenever the time. I'm like, huh? They may not never rescue you. The system's on fire. If it's a fire, are you gonna wait for the fireman? Or if you're able to get out the door, are you gonna get out the door and rescue yourself? Come on, man. I was re cause they say they know, I watched them and they say they know God and all, they don't know God. You are God. You could simply walk out the door. But people at the thousands are still watching these channels and that tells me that they're not even woke. Just because they say truth movement don't mean that they know the truth. Even they need help and guidance. You're watching my channel, I'm another level up from that. I teach you your power. Because it's power back to the people right now. Because it's, it's self-governance. And that's where we're going. You had the power the whole time. God is the... Gave us back the power already. You just have to. You just have to uh, want to accept your power. But the new world is yourself. It's up to you if you choose per your consent and your free will. But guys, I'm gonna go for today. Just wanted to share what's going on now. The system is on fire. If you hear fear, if you hear worry, why do you watch? Look at the titles before these things that you tune in. And teach these people of the who they, now they're good people. But you when blind leads blind, they all go in the pit. You can send these things on. I sent stuff on comments with these dates. With truth movements. Stop doing dates. Because when the date doesn't happen, you predict. There are some people who are weak. And you're guiding. And look at look what you're doing. You're putting us back. Stop giving dates. When the time comes, the time will come. But not everyone knows God fully. You keep, it's not half and it's either all in or not. And then if you're a flesh every day, God doesn't know you. People are flesh, people who go every day are flesh. They're the ones of the fear, the worry. It's you're in a, you're in a illusion, you're in a story already written. You could be any character you want. Do you want to be a fearful character? Well, God, so it shall be done unto you. So things going, it's like, man, this world's amazing. So you're in a already written story and you choose your character. You choose your outcome. And then if you, you already did a contract before you came here, so just enjoy. That's why they say enjoy the now, because this is only temporary. It seemed like so long with the, it's temporary, man. This is not your home. This was never your home. You went on a, you went on a visit to the planet Earth. Another thing, oh yeah, back to this planet thing. They put the answer in front of you. So it's Earth plane, plane is flat. So they put a T in back of the planet and they use that to fool you. The earth is flat. Because water, water can't stay on something circular. And then if it, if it is round, who, which country is upside down? How could a plane find its destination if the earth is spinning so fast? Gravity is a lie. You're heavier than air. 
Doesn't that make more sense? Gravitational pull. You're heavier than the air. So why aren't clouds pulled down? Smoke goes up. If it was gravitational, wouldn't the smoke, wouldn't the smoke come down? Come on, man. Who taught you that? Satanic NASA taught you these things. That's why they have the globe in every room to program your mind. You can reference the uh, Bible too. The Bible says the earth is still. So they put the answer there, but most people don't research. And they use, because they know that they send a man who's a fool to take you to the, to the ditch. And then you fall in. Whose fault is it yours? You saved yourself. You are God. Psalms 82, 6, John 10, 34, and Genesis 126. You're made in God's image. So what man, why do you follow a man? <laughs> you're the same as any man. Only the universal God is above you. Take back your power from these from this wickedness. And walk towards righteousness and your life changes. And you talk big, bad, and bold like me because that's even in the scriptures. You guys take care. Have a beautiful day.